Yeah, so there's been some uh, some talk going on here, some yapping going on about filters and and whatnot, and I'll just throw my two cents in there. Uh, <clears throat> for the Husqvarna products, I don't even bother with them. You know, no velocity stack, no nothing. About, about the only thing I'll do uh, is maybe grease the lip of the filter. I think they have them uh, down pat. Uh, the steels, however, you know, I come up with this arrangement here. Okay? And I've got a, as you can see, I have the uh, tuned intake set up here. Now, the stock saw, the air filter would probably be somewhere around here. So you see, this comes out the back. So yes, you do have to modify your cover. I mean, you could use a hole saw or whatever. Do a real nice, neat job. Maybe take some rubber and go around it and, you know, whatever. I mean, you can go as far as, as with you want. But this does not affect the pistol grip. No matter where you twist this saw, uh, you're not, this is, isn't in your way. Okay? Now, these stock filters on this saw, I don't know if you can see in here, but if you look in here, there's a little... Uh, recess okay and on the stock saw there's a plastic finger and then this comes in here and snaps in and it's almost like a twist twist cam lock so as you turn it it gets sucked in on this finger okay well I mean it works but it's a plastic finger so eventually uh, you start to get slop okay so, like I said, this is a 462 filter. Uh, what I would do with it is I just put some grease around it. And then, of course, I started modifying it, and it, it, it's, it's flowing the air better. And uh, <clears throat> I went away from it. Now, on a 261, uh, same thing. Uh, I'll show you the filter here. See, after I started modding it, I don't know if you can see all these fines here, okay? And they're starting to get around the lip here, okay? Which means that stuff's starting to go into your motor. Now, you can do the stop, uh, drop, and tap, but I don't know if the camera's showing, uh, showing this at all. Okay, you can kind of see the pleats. You know, you can... You can tap these out and clean them, but eventually they they just they need to be replaced. So if you look at the uh, the schedule here, and I never see anybody bring these books out, but I do because this is what I go by. And if I don't like what I see here, I'll improve on their design. Uh, we look at air filter; it says clean. What's it say here? After finishing work or daily. Well, I'll tell you what. On some of these, I wouldn't get a, a daily out of it. It was a tank or two of fuel. The chain was starting to get dull, and that thing was packed and was starting to suck fines. And then uh, your... Uh, replace? Uh, monthly. So if you're using this thing... Okay, let's say five, six hours a day or somewhere around there and you're, you're, you know, making your cash with it, you're going to need uh, to replace these monthly. Now, if you're using a saw that much and you're making money, uh, does it really matter to buy a new filter? For say forty bucks every month, twelve months that's four hundred. That's like five hundred a year. In the whole scheme of things, probably not. I mean, if you're using this saw uh, and it's you're good with it and you have the jobs, firewood, tree cutting, um, 
harvesting timber, whatever. They should pay for themselves, and, and the 40 bucks shouldn't kill you. However, for me, it was much more than that. Because as much as I like this uh, stock, um, I found that uh, it just did not have what I liked as far as a power band. You know, I like my saws to run with a lot of torque and a chain that I set up for the saw. Basically all the same chain, but some saws, maybe a little less rakers, a little bit more. It just, you tune it to the, the power head. So... I was never going to get what I want with this. So I devised this here. And this is your uh, outer wares. Uh, bolts right up. Now here's here's one uh, that's already uh, machined up, made up. So basically what this is, uh, you uh, <clears throat> take uh, your filter off, take all the hardware off of there, pop it off. You know, pop the two uh, eight millimeter uh, uh, bolts or nuts, excuse me. Pop those off. Pop everything off. You take this son of a gun, fit it in there. You know, get your rubber in there on each side. And then obviously this comes off and you bolt it up. But you have to understand that not only is this going to give you, in my opinion, with an outer wears, superior filtration. We are going to get no fines in there because you got two mediums you're going through. You got this outerwear and then you got the, the filter proper that's oiled. And this isn't a K&N. This is a, oh, it is a K&N. I'm sorry. It's just a different type of K&N, an old style. But these are oiled. And then on top of it, you have the outerwares. And then you have it uh, held with, with a hose clamp. And if you want, you can grease it, whatever you want. You don't need to, but you can do it if you want to. And you're not getting any particles through that. Um, they've been running these style mufflers. Excuse me. Yeah, mufflers. They've been running these style uh, intakes on some of the Haas Varnas and some of the Steels uh, in the Pacific Northwest for probably about uh, 50 years. So it's proven. But uh, getting back to the reasons why, um, this this filter, it, it works. It, it could see you through your career. But this setup here, I think, is better. And it's also because of the way this is set up, that you're also getting, you know, instead of your filter being here, you know, fitting under the cover, you have a length here. And it, it's... Basically, what's happening when that piston comes down, the 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 piston skirt is, is cut out, okay, on this particular version. On the newer one, I don't think it is. I I got one in here. I'd have to check. Maybe it is or it isn't. But anyways, <clears throat> the, the you do get a spit back, okay. But what happens is this length at a certain RPM, you're actually getting. Uh, a PSI. Now, I know a lot of guys won't believe it, but all I can tell you is build one. So you're getting uh, better filtration. You're getting probably 100 tanks worth of runtime, or maybe more. I mean, <laughs> you know, you could probably run that thing for until the oil goes. I mean, eventually you're going to have to take it off and re-oil it. Maybe not so much clean it, but re-oil it. Your maintenance is consists of Taking your uh, a chip brush and just, you know, brushing it off. That's it. And you're going to get a power increase. And I've tested these out in the woods. Um, as long as you do your basic maintenance, um, and I would say basic maintenance is to uh, just brush this off. And then every once in a while, check this uh, 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 hose clamp, you know, after a week, it, it, it may, I don't know, from it vibrating, it may loosen up. Just check it. It's its not like it's any kind of work or anything, but just that's how I am. And then you can get in here and, and brush all this crap out of here, too. I mean, and, and you got 
a superior two stock system that will <clears throat> last longer between cleanings, give you a performance upgrade, and extend the life of your saw. So I, I think that this product covers all the bases. It, it's, it's, it's a winner. And it's been proven. And I've got it on all my saws over here. I got it on all these saws here. Now, now the one to the far right, this one here, this 241 I built, I've got a, uh, a foam filter. But I mean, I, I would say that this is a better setup, personally. This is nice in the summer, but for all year, just to grab the saw in the snow and cut or whatever, this is the best system going, in my opinion. So I wouldn't be running them, you know, if they weren't worth it. How much is the gain? Uh, you know, <laughs> there's definitely a noticeable gain. And then when you you take 2% here, 5% here, 3% here, 10% here, 12%, all of a sudden now you got a ripper saw that can move air, it's clean air, the saw lasts, and now you're really making money. See what I'm saying?